What is going on, world? It's your boy, Big Chips. Listen, today we're going to be talking about living a lie. And a lot of people, well, I'd say most people, are living a lie. And here's here's the quandary that we have. We have a lady that's in our group, and I've, I've already posted her message today, and I hope you've seen the video because these enlightenments that you get and these aha moments is the things you really need to value most about your business or your life and really strive to fix whatever it is that you have the aha about. And hers was about living a lie. And it's not a lie per se because what it is is she was a nanny or is a nanny and she's tired of it. She's ready to come home and she's ready to focus on her own grandkids and her life. And what was happened was told to exploit that to become this burnt out nanny and what happened over the series of nine months was this lady became the burnt out nanny and instead of using it to kind of gratify herself or push herself forward what happened over time was it just became a stigma of what she was and here's what I'm saying about living a lie because I'm going to use an example real fast to somebody that I know. All right, so I have a gentleman in my life, and his issues were he wanted to be something he wasn't. All right, and this guy was, he was telling people a story about who he was and where he came from and his life as a whole. And what happened over the series of however long he's been telling, I have really no idea about that, but it's, it's ironic because when you live that lie and you believe what you're saying, sometimes when you repeat that lie, it becomes a reality. And here's case in point, besides Diana, and we'll talk about that too, but this guy just continued this story. And although he didn't, he didn't use it forever, he ingrained it enough in this story time that it became... A reality and that became his life so all these things that he was saying over here although he didn't mean it he knew it was fake he knew it was a lie this became his reality because he spoke it into existence okay living a lie means that you become that which you do not want it doesn't mean that you personally have to lie I'm using this case in point as an example and Diana, who may be burned out, all right? She may be tired. She's 60, all right? She, she's probably ready to retire, you know what I mean? But here's someone who used that as a opener into her, her videos, into her life, into her business, and she became the burnt out nanny. I mean, she did a 100-day video challenge. She stuck with her business. She's tried all these obstacles. But like every time it started becoming burned out nanny here to the burned out nanny and that attitude kind of persuaded with it. You know what I'm saying? So we have this gentleman who, who spoke lies, who spoke fables, if you will, tales, and that actually became who he is now and not what he wants. Uh, Diana had this, this burnout na nanny mentality and she became it. Not just because she was tired or overworked, underappreciated, all the normal stuff of a nine to five job, okay? We, most of us have felt that before. But she became so burned out because she continually spoke it into existence. Law of attraction, hmm? Law of reciprocity, what you give, you get back. Here's the case in point here. Whatever you speak into your life, this is what you're gonna speak into existence. This is what will become your future. You know, the Bible talks about planting the seed and watching the harvest, okay? So when you speak, actually it starts with your thought process. I guess I should start there. What you think is basically what you end up speaking. So whatever you put into your mind is what you're going to speak into existence. So I tell you this so that you know 
that whatever you're watching, whatever you're thinking, whatever you're putting into yourself, into your, into your subconscious, is what your consciousness will become. And I say that because I got down on myself. I, you know, it doesn't matter who you are. You are not excluded to any of this. Whatever you start telling yourself, that's what happens. You know, I started selling myself short, all right, because I used to do big things. But I started selling myself short. And what happened is everything that I did in the videos, the content, you know, ideas, I started selling myself short on it. Because I started believing the lie that I was telling myself. I was living a lie. All right? Diana. She was selling herself short. She started feeding into the burned out nanny. She became the burnt out nanny. This other gentleman I'm referring to, he told so many tales trying to do something or get the girl or, you know, get a job, whatever the case is that he became that which he spoke. And it's very, very powerful. And I want you to understand this. Whatever you put into your mind is what you're going to speak into existence because whatever you put it, basically it's kind of like this, whatever you put emotion behind, your feelings. So like if you're in the heart of a moment and you really put your feelings to that thought, that thought will like burn into existence right then and there and it will come to pass because they always say the devil looks for a foothold you know a crack in the door window hole in the wall type thing and when he gets into that his foot in that door to stop it or in the window or in the hole he can expand it and that's the power of your mind the lies are put into your subconscious to where you think about it you think about the lies. You think about the bull crap that is happening or is not happening. Or, you know, somebody tells you, you can be successful. You can have everything in this life that you want. Do you believe it? So ask yourself that right now. Go look in a mirror and say, you are a champion. You are victorious. You can have everything you want in this life. You are a million dollar earner. Tell me what your feedback is from yourself. Do you believe it? Or is there something in there that's feeding you a lie? Because if it is, you're living a lie. Because you are powerful. You are strong. You are a co-creator of your existence. You have the power of life and death in the power of your tongue and what you speak. So, you know, I know this is kind of a rant, ramble, whatever, but it, it's, it's, it's powerful. It's powerful. And I want you to see this. I want you to get it. All right? A few examples of what's going on and the words we use, the thoughts that we think, and how that becomes, whether you want it or not, whatever you put your energy into, that's what that energy is going to create. All right? So whatever seed you are sowing in your mind, that is what you will harvest when it comes time. So think about it. Think about it. Because, well, actually, it's kind of funny I say that. But stop thinking about it. Stop putting these negative connotations into your mind. Stop putting self-doubt, self-limiting thoughts on your life. Stop saying you can't and start saying you can Better yet, start saying you will. Believe it, see it, achieve it. It's your boy Big Chips with businesschips.com and the Diamond Mother Dream Team. I will see each and every one of you on the other side. Make it a great day. I dare you.